Hello friends, welcome to Easy Homemade Projects. In today's video, I am going to build this soft starter circuit for the water pumps to reduce the starting torque load current up to 50%. With the help of this soft starter, you can run your water pump with any solar inverter that is not connected with batteries and the grid power supply. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB where you can order your 5 pieces of up to 32 layers PCBs starting from 2 US dollars. If you are planning to order premium 6 layer PCBs, this is right time for that. Place your order and get a special discount of 30 US dollars. One of a good addition in their services is flexible PCBs. Now you can order flexible PCBs starting from 2 US dollars. To order for your PCB assembly, first upload PCB Gerber files, then bill of material file and pick and place file and then place your order. And uh, here is the latest addition in their services. Now you can analyze your PCB design with their free online DFM tool to get instant feedback on PCB manufacturability and fixing design errors before placing an order. To avail all these services and the latest offers, visit their website jlcpcb.com. Okay guys, so finally we got our PCBs from JLCPCB. Here is the box. Let me open it and then I will show you our new PCBs. As you can see the build quality is really nice and perfect as always. Okay guys, so here are all the components that are required to complete our control board PCB. First of all here you can see Arduino Nano with these header pins. Here are some screw terminal blocks. Here is a 10 kilo ohm SMD resistor. And here are two 220 ohm resistors. Here is a 1 kilo ohm half watt resistor. And here is a 100 kilo ohm half watt resistor. I would recommend you to use 1 watt instead of half watt. And uh, here is a 560 ohm 2 watt resistor. Here is PC817 photocoupler. And this is CT3021 trike opto isolator. Here is a small bridge rectifier. Here are some 5 mm LEDs. And uh, this is a 0.1 microfarad 300 or 400 volt capacitor. And uh, here is a 3296 10 kilo ohm trimmer resistor. And uh, here is a BTA41800 trike with this heat sink. And this is our PCB. So now I will solder all these components to our new PCB. Ok guys, so component soldering is done. And now it's time to burn the Arduino code. So after burning the Arduino code, I am going to connect Arduino to our PCB. Here is a 220 volt AC to 5 volt DC power supply module. So we will connect this module with our circuit to power up the Arduino. So the AC wires will be connected here. And the DC wires will be connected here. Ok 
ओके गाय सो हेर आई मेड ए सेटअप टू टेस्ट आवर सॉफ्ट स्टार्टर सर्किट सो हेर इज ए टू ट्वेंटी वोल्ट ए सी पावर सप्लाई एंड दिस इज द इनपुट ऑफ द सर्किट एंड हेर इज द आउटपुट ऑफ द सर्किट हेर आई कनेक्टेड ए हंड्रेड वॉट्स बल्ब एट द आउटपुट सो नो वेन आई विल टर्न ऑन द पावर यू विल नोटिस दैट द बल्ब विल स्टार्ट ग्लोविंग वेरी स्लोली लेट मी पावर इट ऑन as you can see here and we can adjust this time with the help of this variable now here we have a large water pump and i connected it directly to the ac power supply and uh, now we will power it on and uh, then we will measure the starting current of this pump with the help of this clamp meter as you can see it is around 11 amperes Okay guys so here is the final setup here i connected our soft starter circuit with this pump and here is the clamp meter and now i will turn on the power supply and then you will notice that the current will increase very slowly as you can see the maximum current was only 6 amps which is almost 40 to 50% less than the normal starting current Okay guys so that's it for today's video all necessary information about this project you can find in the video description i hope you will like my this project share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe